How safe is the modern roller coaster? Media attention to amusement park injuries and fatalities have led to concerns about passenger safety and potential brain injuries resulting from faster, more complex rides that may cause greater stress on the rider. Russian ice slides, popular in the 16th and 17th centuries, are the earliest ancestors of the present-day roller coaster. Ice blocks were fashioned into sleds, and sand created friction to slow down the sled at the end of the ride. As popularity increased, wooden sleds were built with iron runners to increase the speed and intensity of the ride. The first roller coaster with a train attached to the track was built in 1817. In the mid-1800s, a Pennsylvania train was originally constructed as a coal transportation system, but became an attraction for visitors willing to pay one dollar to ride it. In 1875, Coney Island was opened, and the first under-friction roller coaster was introduced there later in 1912. This design held the coaster train on the track and allowed for more speed, steeper hills, and less drag. But what inspired the evolution of roller coasters? Here's how roller coasters have evolved over the past two centuries. Over the last 200 years, these mammoth machines have risen to incredible heights and come to pack a wallop in G-forces. Today, the tallest coaster is 456 feet tall and can get shut down if the fog is too low. But it wasn't always this way. By the turn of the 20th century, Coney Island had already made a name for itself with Loop the Loop, a coaster that featured two small loops side by side. Many visitors preferred to watch, however, to avoid the aches of inversion. A couple decades later, meanwhile, in 1925, a roller coaster in Revere Beach, Massachusetts, known as the Cyclone, apparently a popular ride name, pursued another feat. It was the first coaster to reach 100 feet tall. Disneyland released the first roller coaster with steel tubular track in 1959 with the Matterhorn bobsleds. Whenever Walt Disney goes anywhere in the world, he likes to bring back something for the park. And so when Walt was on location last year in Switzerland and saw the Matterhorn, he thought, say, that would make a nice souvenir for Disneyland. In 1976, Six Flags Magic Mountain in Valencia, California unveiled Revolution, the first modern coaster with a loop. Suddenly, all theme parks demanded they have their own looping coaster. And one was no longer enough. In 1980, the Carolina Cyclone opened at Carowinds in Charlotte. It was the first to have four inversions. Ever since, people have wanted faster, more thrilling rides, pushing the limits of design to provide extreme adventures for their passengers. With these improvements, concern for safety became paramount. Compared to the sustained forces astronauts or fighter pilots experience, the G-forces coasters exert are brief. Roller coaster riders experience both weightlessness and elevated G-forces during the course of a ride, which gives roller coasters their unique and exhilarating feel in a safe and controlled environment. Even though new coaster designs provide faster and more complex experiences for their riders, Accelerations and G-forces have remained relatively constant and within tolerable levels. Even the size of roller coasters is evolving. In 1989, Magnum XL200 at Cedar Point broke the 200-foot height barrier. And today, the tallest coaster is 456 feet tall. Where will the future history of the roller coaster take eager riders? As technology advances, there is no telling what heights new coasters may reach or at what speeds they will get there. But one thing is certain, there will be plenty of riders waiting to strap in and enjoy the ride. <laughs>